Hello, in this video we're going to talk about making sure that your AFNI is up to date. So checking your version number and getting a newest version of AFNI binaries if you need to. Um, so here under the terminal, the easiest way to check what the version number is to type AFNI minus ver and you'll see this extended version and I can see that the, the package that I have specifically is the Linux Ubuntu one. In this case, my system is Ubuntu, and the version number is 20.0.19. Uh, this number refers to the year. We have four major version numbers per quarter, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And within each quarter, we keep track of all our uh, updates as we go. So whenever we have a new option, a new program, a bug fix, something like that, a lot of times we'll have a new version so this number actually changes fairly frequently and we recommend that people update their AFNI every couple of months or so if not more if you want for example for scripting purposes to see just subsets of this information there are also options like AFNI vnum and AFNI minus package so that's just uh, available if you need that if you want to know uh, where AFNI is on your computer, you can actually use the Linux command which and type AFNI, and this will find the location of your uh, AFNI command in the binaries, and this would work with any AFNI program too, for example, and for the most part they'll all be in the same directory here. By default, if you follow the instructions here, then um, your AFNI binary directory will be in the home directory. Uh, in order to update your AFNI command, you just need to run at update minus AFNI binaries minus D. D is for default. And you can hit enter now. And this will check and see automatically if there's a newer version of AFNI available. If there is, it will pull it down from the internet and um, start putting it into the same location on your computer as your current version of AFNI. And it will actually put your current version in a subdirectory for backup just in case something goes wrong or if the internet goes goes haywire or something like that. So that's really all you need. So it's very easy to stay up to date. If you um, are in a location where you don't always have access to internet, so some, you want to download the package and then maybe install later, that's possible as well. So under here, the, uh, the install AFNI binaries under every the system example, this is under the, the Linux case, there's an example of, of an option um, that you can do. So if you've, if you've already got AFNI installed, you would just need something like this. So let's do the example of, I have a USB plugged into my laptop. So I'm gonna say at update minus AFNI binaries. And now I can say minus local package and just provide the path to those binaries. So in this case, is going to be here and the the version of the binaries that I want specifically is that. So now I could do could do that and say minus D and if I hit enter the version of the binaries that is on my USB key would be installed in the same case. So this can be useful if for example you have slow internet speeds and you want to download it once and have multiple people install you can download to a USB and then you're done. So that's all it takes to stay up to date with AFNI. There you go.